Good afternoon, this is Dave Christensen coming to you from the outside of our home and garden 911.com. Today I'd like to talk to you about your uh, possibility of heat buildup inside your meter can. I talked to you uh, a little while ago about the possibility of heat buildup in your main panel uh, on your breakers. And today I want to uh, make the same point about your electric meter. We call it a meter can. Because I have personally witnessed on two occasions the connections coming loose inside this can, the wiring terminations becoming loose inside this can and causing a heat buildup. The mosquitoes are getting me today. Uh, it's a good idea. It's a, I always recommend that people take the time every time they walk by actually get in the habit of putting your hand on the meter can. It should be cool. It should be cool to touch. It should never be hot. It should never be even warm unless it's sitting in the hot sun of course. But it should be cool to the touch. Uh, a little warm is okay. Hot is not good. Uh, on one of the occasions that I spoke of it was so hot that it melted the inside and there were some plastic separators inside. It melted them. They were in a puddle in the bottom of the can and this Incoming service cable was so hot you couldn't even put your hand on it. It, it, it uh, melted the insulation from the wire. It made it brittle and it flaked off. Uh, it was a it, it, the whole building almost went up in smoke. Uh, we caught it just in time, actually. So just to underscore the importance of the early detection of heat buildup on your electrical equipment, both your heater, uh, your meter, and your meter can, and your main panel downstairs and the uh, main breaker and the branch breakers. Always go and put the back of your hand on the on the, your electrical equipment and uh, see if it's hot. If it's hot, it's not good. Heat in an electrical system is not your friend. Nothing good will come of it. Keep that in mind. And with that, I'll let you go. My name is Dave Christensen. I hope this information is useful to someone. Uh, that's my goal. And if you think it is, please click on the like button on the YouTube channel, Dave Studio One. And um, if you have a question that you'd like me to cover, I'd love to have the opportunity to do that. Go to our website, homeandgarden911.com, and leave me a comment or a question. And if it's something that I have perspective on, I'd be happy to uh, address that for you. Thank you for allowing me to share some of your time. Thank you.